We're going to do a little experiment. I have five cubes, they're all the same shape and size, in a bin that I'm not going to look in. What I'm going to do is take two of them. I'm going to take one out, note its color, put it back in, and then take another. So I'm going to be getting uh, two of these. Now what I did is, down here, I actually made a sample space. Okay, so blue, blue, red, 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 blue, blue, red, red, red. So these right here represent everything that can possibly happen in this experiment. Uh, so let's say, well, we'll just leave it as, as that, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so that's one way to list a sample space, make a little table. All right, so I'm going to do this 24 times. All right, so uh, after I draw two, I'm going to put everything back in, and we'll count it as another trial. So again, I am not looking. You can believe me on that. So we got red and red. Red, red. All right, trial two. All right, what I'll do is I'll start speeding up the video. Alright, there are the results. Is that what we expect? Now let's say we do another experiment, uh, kind of similar to the last one, but instead of putting the first cube back, back, uh, back in, we leave it out. What that it does to our sample space is it uh, removes all the chances of getting the same one twice. So basically all of these now become impossible. Alright, so that would be our new sample space if we don't return the first one back in. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do it 24 more times and we'll s compare this side to this side and see what happens. All right, so <clears throat> let's compare what actually happened uh, with the first one where we replaced it and the second one where we didn't. Another thing we want to ask is, what if we were to consider the order in which these were picked? What if we said that it matters if it was blue, then red, or red, then blue? Uh, would that change?